Welcome to my discussion about the Netbox inventory plugin. Let's take a look and dive right in. So first I want to explore the Netbox environment for you to see what we're going to be taking a look at today. First off, in my sites, I've got four different sites. I've got Denver, Minneapolis, New York City, and Portland. And then within each of those, I've also got devices, typically three devices in a three router triangle. We've got a MSP WAN that sits in the middle of all the devices, a distribution and two distribution switches that are IOSV at each site. When I go to New York, I've got additional devices that are of type CSR 1000 Vs. So these are a little bit different. We have two different device types in our netbox. We've got three devices at each site and we have sites. Let's go ahead and take a look at the inventory plugin. Here we're going to take a look at the inventory plugin itself. When we look at the definition of the inventory plugin, we've got a YAML file that defines which inventory we're going to go for. The plugin is netbox.netbox.nb inventory. We're not validating certs, doesn't really matter because we're using an HTTP site, but you should use HTTPS and you should validate certs as well. And note, this one is very important, config underscore context. We're going to say do not download the config context that comes with the device information for Netbox. This is very important if you have a large inventory and you are not using config context. If you have config context, you'll start to have some speed issues. So for us, we're going to go ahead and set this to false until you need it. Now we go ahead and run Ansible inventory. So that's the command we're going to be using, dash i to specify which inventory, and we're going to name the file. And then we want to get a list of all the devices. So as it will process here, we'll get a list of all the devices at the site. And then we'll, this will be quite exhaustive. We'll scroll up. But first, notice here at the bottom, this is the device groupings at the bottom that we see starting with all. We have a children of ungrouped. And then we have the hosts. We have the Denver host, Minneapolis, New York City, and Portland. We'll scroll up and take a look at just one of the devices. This is repeated several times for each of them. So we're taking a look at PDX WAN 01. We have the Ansible host that comes in. If we have any custom fields within Netbox, those will come in here as well and be available to you via your inventory. Device roles. Device types, so the types is IOSV, the role is network, which was added, is virtual, local, manufacturers, we have Cisco, and then the platforms as well. So we see that there, and we get the primary IPv4. After we've got a start that we see that we can interact with Netbox to get an inventory, the next thing I want to show is creating groups based on devices. Let's take a look at this Netbox inventory file. We've got a group by and I've set it to tags for the moment. So when we do our Ansible inventory, dash I and B inventory list, we now will have this interact with Netbox and it's going to come back and give us some additional groups. So let's take a look at what those groups look like. So this groups, we've got everything here showing we have our all groups with children of tags SNMP monitoring ungrouped and then we've got two groups additional we've got the ungroup that we saw before and the tags snp monitoring is now showing up with the additional devices for us to use i've gone ahead and added a couple more groups here now we can see we're going to group by platforms tags and sites let's run this again with these additional groups and while that's running I just want to also come back to the host here, PDX WAN. We notice that we have tags on the bottom. Everything else is the same, and you'll see this as we continue on to develop more listings. So now as we do this exactly as we expected, we have now some sites to be able to group by and get those sites into groups. We have our platform Cisco iOS, which means as we develop multi-vendor platforms, we're able to group things very quickly by assigning data within Netbox. All right, so we've taken a look at how we can get some groupings involved in our Netbox environment for our inventory. Now I've gone ahead and added to the inventory the ability to query. So here we've got some query filters, query underscore filters, and we have the status of active. 
I've also moved three devices, a few just switched twos to inactive, actually into an offline state. So we'll go ahead and run this inventory again. We see our hosts are for Denver and Portland both have only four hosts, whereas before they were four because they've been queried out by being in a status of offline. Now the last piece that I'd like to share with you is the inventory where we actually add variables to the to your inventory. So when you're running the inventory, one of the things that I know I like to use quite a bit is the Ansible underscore network underscore OS. So to be able to do this, we've got the new section of compose for every this takes a dictionary and for every dictionary item it creates a key value mapping for a variable so here we're going to have the ansible underscore network os created as a variable key and then the platform dot slug is going to be what gets assigned for ansible let's take a look at that execution in process here we're, we'll run that inventory and we're going to see as part of the host vars associated with the inventory that we'll have the Ansible underscore network OS and we'll just scroll up through all the groups and here now we see the Ansible underscore network OS variable available for use by your Ansible playbooks. I hope this has been helpful. You can find the blog content associated with this on the website josh-v.com by going up to the collections and the netbox collection and this particular one is the inventory starting out. Again, this has been a introduction to the inventory and there is still so much more that can be done with it, but want to get you started with the pieces that I feel are important for your everyday Ansible playbooks. With that, thanks for watching. You can find me at josh-v.com or on Twitter at vandrayj, github at jvandray, or on LinkedIn page. Thanks and have a good day.